Hello everybody and welcome back to Piggy Crumbs. Just thought I'd do a super quick video with the peas eating grass today because um, that's always quite nice to see. Um, and I have just weighed these guys and I was very impressed with their weights. I think you can definitely tell it's summertime and they're getting grass because their weights have all gone up. Somewhat substantially. <laughs> um, my guys are... I would describe on the smaller side for a guinea pig, certainly um, my two originals Gus here and Rocky are somewhat petite for adult um, grown males. Rolo isn't quite fully grown yet, um, he's about six months away from being fully grown but he's almost fully grown and then Digger here is only about six, seven, eight months. Um, so he's on the smaller side. However, what I'm about to tell you may surprise you. So we'll start in order. Gus. I thought he'd been looking a little bit slim recently. As you can tell, he has barbered, I think it's him, his lovely long mermaid tail, which I'm very sad about because I loved his little mermaid tail, but never mind. He's obviously decided he wants a different haircut for now. But this guy normally borders around the thousand grams and today he was 1072 grams which the difference was 60 grams since last time I weighed them um so yeah great for him um and like I said I was I'm very surprised by that I thought actually he might have lost some weight so I'm really happy about that and his health because um, with Gus he does have digestive digestive issues so we do have to kind of watch him a little bit in that sense. So Mr Raki here who again have to watch in terms of weight um, just because he has a few issues so um, and also with him being the bottom of the herd I particularly like to watch his weight because if something goes on with these lot it could be him that kind of can't get to food basically like if the others are stopping him because he's the bottom of the herd but Rocky is normally in like 900s he's very very petite um, um today he was 930 which was really good which was an increase of 46 grams from last time so again I'm really happy with that he is getting almost up to his top weight again which is very good very happy so you can tell like a, a thousand to maybe bordering 1100 and then 900 to about a thousand these guys are on the smaller side Gus is probably more normal um weight wise um like I say they are a petite kind of lot um but this guy's probably the most normal at the moment for a fully grown pig um yeah so then, going in age, we have little Rolo here, and Rolo, obviously, like I say, is still growing. He's almost fully grown, um, but he matches Rocky most of the time in weight, around the 900. Um, but today he was 952, um, which was an increase of 43 grams from last time, so again, very similar to Rocky. Um, and he is now second heaviest pig. Yay, Rolo! Second heck of the biggest pig! Um, and yeah, considering he's not fully grown, I'm pretty happy with that. I think he will be another kind of petite pig. Um, but yeah, very happy. So then we come down to little Digger here, who I think, when he's fully grown, is going to be the heaviest. Because already, and like I say, he's maybe seven to eight months. I've had him six months, but he's probably seven to eight months, maybe even nine because um, he was adopted so I don't know his true age um, he's 909 which is 60 grams increase which obviously some of that is growth um, but yeah I'm really happy with this chap he is very very close in size to Rolo already and to be honest most of the others like look at that like would you know he was a smaller and younger pig I'm not sure you would um, so all of them over 900 today um, very very happy very very proud pig mom and yeah stay tuned I will do another update probably in the future because I think it's quite interesting like I say I think mine are on the smaller side for a pig what would you say hmm? I mean 
obviously a video it's quite hard to tell size wise but certainly there goes against that willow bridge I think most people have that willow bridge yeah we'll wait and see so I'm very happy with that I think it's down to obviously almost three meals a day because when it's like today where the gra grass is a bit wet um, but the grass itself is dry I go and cut it for them and they just enjoy another meal I do lessen the veg if they have a day on the grass or if they eat grass I tend to just give them a little bit of pepper maybe a bit of tomato um, and less of the lettuce um, so yeah it's not like they're getting three meals four meal meals a day they're just getting extra nutrients and the good stuff like grass aren't you guys huh? you're getting the good stuff so yes in case you're wondering this is their weight chart Someone has nibbled and peed on it, so it's not the best condition. But there you go. If you want a little snapshot, that's what the weights have been recently. I'm not the best at remembering when to do it. Um, I tend to do it every two weeks, ideally. Um, it tends to be on a Friday when I clean them. But, I, like I say, I'm not the best, so I just do it as and when I remember. So, it was about two weeks since the last time I did it, 14th of May. So, that's pretty good. <laughs> so that's all for today's video i hope you've enjoyed let me know the weight of your guinea pigs in the comments down below i would be very interested like i say i think mine are on the uh, slightly lighter side but as i've evidenced in many many videos they do like to run around and exercise so yeah I think that's why also they're on the lighter side. So yeah, leave me your comments down below with your weights and we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye! <laughs>